Hello everybody, I'm going to read you another story today. Uh, do you remember the day the crayons quit? Well, the story we're going to hear today is the day the crayons came home. And it's by the same author and illustrator, Drew Daywalt and Oliver Jeffers. I hope you enjoy it. One day, Duncan and his crayons were happily colouring together. When a strange stack of postcards arrived for him in the mail. Dear Duncan, not sure if you remember me. My name is Maroon Crayon. You only coloured with me once to draw a scab, but whatever, anyway, you lost me two years ago in the couch when your dad sat on me and broke me in half. I never would have survived had Paperclip not nursed me back to health. I'm finally better, so come and get me. And can Paperclip come too? He's really holding me together. Sincerely, your marooned crayon, maroon crayon. Dear Duncan, no one likes peas. No one even likes the colour pea green. So I'm changing my name and running away to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent, the crayon formerly known as pea green. You see on the postcard, Duncan, Duncan's bedroom upstairs, this house. Hi Duncan, it's me, Neon Red Crayon. Remember that great holiday we had with your family? Remember how we laughed when we drew a picture of your dad's sunburn? Remember dropping me by the hotel pool when you left? Clearly you do not, because I'm still here. How could you miss me? Anyway, after eight months waiting for you to come and get me, I guess I'm walking back. Your left behind friend, Neon Red Crayon. Duncan, it's us. Yellow and orange. We know we used to argue over which of us was the colour of the sun. But guess what? Neither of us wants to be the colour of the sun anymore. Not since we were left outside and the sun melted us. Together. You know the real colour of the sun? Hot. That's what. We're sorry for arguing. You can make green the sun for all we care. Just bring us home. Your not so sunny friends. Yellow and orange crayon. Oh dear. Hey Duncan, I'm sure you don't recognise me after the horror I've been through. I think I was tan crayon or maybe burnt sienna. I don't know. I can't tell anymore. Have you ever been eaten by a dog and puked up on the living room floor rug? Because I have. And I have been eaten by a dog and puked upon the rug, Duncan, and it's not pretty, not pretty at all. I'm more carpet fuzz than crayon now. Can you please bring me back? Your indigestible friend, Tan, or possibly burnt sienna crayon. Dear Duncan, um, could you please open the front door? I still need to see the world. Sincerely, Esteban the Magnificent. Hey Duncan, remember last Halloween we told your little brother there was a ghost under the basement stairs? Then we drew that scary stuff on the wall. Sure was funny when he ran screaming, right? But it wasn't so funny when you forgot to take me out of the basement. Please come and get me. 
I'm kind of terribly horrified. Your scared friend, glow in the dark crayon. Dear Duncan, looks like I'm almost home. I've been through China, Canada and France, I think. I'm just crossing Newcastle by camel now. Newcastle has giant pyramids, right? See you soon, neon red crayon. P.S. Next stop, the North Pole, I think. Duncan. Does page eight of Pirate Island ring a bell? Kind of a big payday for Captain Greenbeard there, don't you think? And no bronze or silver in that pile. I told you it'd make me blunt if you coloured each coin individually. But would you listen? No. I also told you those stupid crayon sharpeners never work. Did you listen to that? Also, no. Now I can't colour anything at all. Your po pointless friend, gold crayon. Dear Duncan, I've seen the world, it's rainy. I'm coming back, Esteban the Magnificent. Hi Duncan, you're probably wondering why my head is stuck to your sock? A question I ask myself every day. Well, it's because last week you left me in your pocket and I ended up in the dryer. I landed on your sock and now he's stuck to my head. Can you please come and get me? Also, why does everything you wear still smell even after it's washed? Your stinky, socky, stucky on head, buddy, turquoise crayon. P.S. Sock says hi. Tell him I said hi. Dear Mr Duncan, I know I'm not your crayon. I know I belong to your baby brother, but I can't take him anymore. In the last week alone, he's bitten the top of my head, put me in the cat's nose, drawn on the wall and tried to colour rubbish with me. The worst part of it is he's a terrible artist. I can't tell what his drawings are. Donkeys? Monkeys? Donkey monkeys? Picasso said every child's an artist. But I don't know. I don't think he met your brother. Please rescue me. Your desperate friend, big chunky toddler crayon. Duncan, greetings from the Amazon rainforest, making great time. I think I'm almost home. Neon red crayon. Skiing. See. Hello, Duncan. It's me, brown crayon. You know exactly why I ran away, buddy. Everyone thinks I get all the great colouring jobs. Chocolate, puppies, ponies. Lucky me, right? Bet they don't know what else. You used to colour me do, with, do they? I didn't think so. The rest of that drawing was great, but did it really need that final brown scribble? I'll come back, but please let's stick to chocolate. Okay, your very embarrassed friend, brown crayon. Duncan was sad to learn of all the crayons he'd lost, forgotten, broken or neglected over the years. So he ran around gathering them up but Duncan's crayons were all so damaged and differently shaped that they used to be that they no longer fitted in the crayon box. So Duncan had an idea. He built a place where each crayon would always feel at home. And then in Cleveland, I get to hike the Great Wall of China. You see. Hope you enjoyed the story. Bye.